So I just created a model roll and these are all now expanded metal. So this is a new model roll. So if I go to number this plate, so we'll just copy it out to do it. This is what I could do maybe for a test run. So copy one of these plates out. You could just do it with the one here, but sometimes it's easier to just practice out here. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to the home tab and go numbering. Okay. And you can see this is numbered as a plate, right? But I don't want this numbered as a plate. So I want this numbered as expanded metal. So what we can do is we can go to output and then we can just change in here we can add a new one so we want to go to plate because this is a plate it's created as a plate it's not actually a plate but you create it as a plate so go to any so i just click on any of these it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter even if you click on any of these and i'm going to create a new one and it's going to be an object to play it and the model role is going to be the expanded metal expanded metal and that's okay any profile and single part I'm going to name EX and assembly I'm going to name EX apply okay select that plate again always select it or you're going to end up numbering everything in the model which is not good for me anyway so you can see, see that's changed to EX so now if I go in and pick any of these, let's say I pick a different one here, and then we'll number this, it should automatically come in as EX2, and then the next one EX3, and so on. Alright, hope that helps.